So hello everybody and welcome to part three of the Amazon Fires visualization. Now, what we are trying to do is we're trying to recreate this tweet, okay? So we've cleaned the data in Power BI with Power Query, we've modeled it, we've done the chart in Charticulator on my second channel. All the links are down below, don't worry. And now on part three, we're going to visualize it and we're going to think about what the, the actual tweet is trying to tell us now that we've done all the technical stuff. So let's get cracking. Let's start using the chart articulator visual, use the rose visual to visualize this, and then you tell me what you think about all the stuff. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so this is what we left it on part one. We had um, all the locations with the fires, and then we, I, we represented on the bar chart for the Amazons. Now, what I want to have is because the tweet is saying basically, hey, look, the number of fires that we have now in 2020. I don't have data for 2020, but for the last five, six years, okay? So what I've done, what it would be nice when we, if we plot these with a bar chart, which is what we have available in Power BI, is to have the max value for the, for the set on each bar chart highlighted. We're going to do the same in the rose chart as I showed you yesterday, but we're going to do it with the bar chart just so we have like comparable charts basically so if we go to data colors we're going to use this conditional formatting i've already created the max value i will show you on friday how all these max things are calculated let's focus on the visuals today so we have max value conditional formatting okay which means that it will color the max value orange and then the other ones you will have them green now the map is a little bit too fancy for us what we want to do is highlight the actual visualization the data not the map we want to know where in brazil but that's all we don't want to have all these beautiful colors so we're going to dumb down this a little bit i think this great scale will be fantastic because now we can actually start seeing the data we see brazil on the back but then we see the data on the front which is a lot more useful so now what we're going to do is to copy these for each data point. This is for Acre. Let's change that. And then we have this one for Mato Grosso, which is one of the ones that had the highest fires. I think it was this one, Amazons and Mato Grosso. And then we're going to put, this one is the one with the highest, which it was in, I've learned this data set, <laughs> as you can see. So in there, and now you see all the charts look as tall, but they are not. So the, the highest here is 7,000, the higher here is 50,000. This one should be like that. If you want to give people cues already when looking at the chart where the, the biggest fires are, I wish that Power BI will do that, but it doesn't. So. 15, 18, 13,000, 7,000. This should be like half of that. You get the idea, right? And then as you can see, well, this grabs all this space. So we should put it here with an arrow like there and then put another one there. It starts to get very crowded. So how about we try to do it with a rose chart? We're going to duplicate this page. And we are going to, I've already imported the rose chart. This rose chart, either you've done it yesterday from the Kerbal Data Lab, or you just go to Kerbal Data Center, Charticulator, and then you grab the Power V's chart number six, which is the rose chart, okay? And import it, just go here, import, uh, import a visual from a file, okay? I already have it imported, so we're just going to use it. We click on there. And if you remember from me creating the charticulator, if you don't, you already know that. We have here primary key, we don't need one. Bar height is going to be the number of fires. I was talked about that when we created. The angular axis, if you remember, was going to be the year. And the max value tag, here's the thing. For these to conditional format, and I explained this on Tuesday video, but for the rose chart to be conditional format, in case you haven't seen it, we need to tag it because there is no other way to do it in Charticulator. And I tried to tag it using, you know, creating the max value for the series using a measure, but it didn't work. So the max value has to be done as a calculated column. 
I have it here. So I have a calculator. I will show you on Friday also how those calculations are done. And that's the only one that it will work. So now that you have it as a calculated column, you'll put it in there and count of year done summarized. And this thing will give you now your row start. It's going to be like super zoomed out. Now that's where we have to go to properties and start to do things. Um, let me show you. So there is a scale here. We want to do this a little bit smaller. <laughs> this is way too big. And put it. I found that moving these charts when I, once I have a few of them, it was such a pain, such a pain. <laughs> now, I realized when I started visualizing what we're going to do, basically, I'm not going to do all the charts because it took me forever and ever. And I don't, I really don't want to show you how frustrating the process was, but this is what we're basically trying to visualize. This para was what I had the highest number of fires is the biggest one. And then this this one, this one, and then the other ones are smaller. So you say that the small, the, the size of the rows is also the size of the biggest fire. And then what we want to see basically is this orange sectors here, right? It, in this particular case, I am not interested in knowing exactly how many fires, because what the claim is, is that, hey, look at how many fires, how much, how more many fires we have on the Amazon. So now comparing to, he's comparing 2020 January with previous year. I don't have 2020, so we're comparing from the last years. So I have here, I have left on the biggest chart, the action, axis labels. But I removed them from the other ones because you won't be able to see them anyway. So if you look at this chart, you know that this is 2013. Uh, you can actually, I thought I did it. Yeah, you can actually see the state of the year and the number of fires if you hover over. So the tooltips are actually quite nice. Uh, so wait, oh, the, the fact that they, the layering is not working is so annoying. So 2013 is here. So you can see here that the biggest fire was number of fires. It were in 2017. This is 19, 19. This is uh, 16. You can see it here if you go there, 16. Also, you can hover over and it will tell you. Right, so we don't need to know the exact numbers. You just have, want to look at that. And then if the number of fires in 2019 were biggest, then all of these, like here and here, there and there will be highlighted. You, you get it. So if we go in here, we don't want to have all that stuff, all those numbers. It's just confusing and a lot of information that doesn't give us the point that we want to make. So what you can do, actually, even if you have created, you can turn, you don't need to create a new particular chart, you just turn it off. And to turn it off, you just turn off by capacity, opacity, sorry, you, you see, and then they are off. And then you can do exactly the same with this one, go in there. And then you have to just move around stuff. So you will do what you want to do. You want to have a state and you want to have fires. And you want to have the max value, which is a calculated column, otherwise you won't show. And then you want to again, scale this this is like a huge number, so you have to scale it quite a lot. Like that. And in this one, this is the one that we want to keep the, oh, we should remove the, um, the title. So in this one, this is the one that we want to keep the access legend, but not the bar legend. We don't want to know the exact number. So we just want to know which year was the highest number of fires, that's all. And then you just copy paste and continue, you know, putting all, everything in place until you get this chart. You're going to get this for download, by the way. So you're going to in the community downloads, Kerbal, you'll get it. So, so if you can't bother doing it, don't worry, it is in here so you can inspect it and see. So this is how you actually can create it. I think that this is a little bit better. It uses the the space in the canvas a, a lot better than using the bar chart. And especially because 
this resizable bar charts in Power BI are so horrible that you know the legends won't you, you don't see them you see that they disappear and you might think hey you can actually rotate the legend you can't rotate the legends <laughs> for the love of me you can't rotate the legend which is unbelievable but with the rose chart you have everything in a you know like in a circular manner and it just uses the space in my opinion a lot better and tells the, the story quite well you can put this in a marketing brochure or or in a newspaper or you, you know where you people just only want to have a highlight high level information of what's going on okay so now we have visualized the number of fires in the amazon and i'm not sure really what he meant in the tweet by saying hey the number of fires in 2019 where this much now look at 2020 January is like huge. If it meant that they, look what a big problem we have. And in my opinion, I don't think that the number of fires is a good metric to measure the problem of fires in the Amazon. So I am curious to know what you think. What do you think it would be? Do you think that is a good metric or do you think is there any other metric that will better measure the problem in the Amazons, and in that case, what that measure will be. So let me know in the comment box. I'm really curious to know. I will tell you on Friday what I think it would be a more appropriate measure for highlighting the issue of fires in the Amazons. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this series. Last part would be tomorrow, no, on Friday. <laughs> on Friday, on the Dark Fridays, I will show you how to do these max values that I show you here. If you want to do the visualizations now, the, the file is available on uh, Kerbal Download Center at Community Downloads. You'll see the number in there. So just grab it and you'll see how I created measures anyhow. So I will see you again on Friday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.